Welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Ian Yarwood and I'm a lawyer here in Perth, Western Australia. Now as many of you would already know, yesterday I published this video on YouTube. It contained a couple of tributes to Charlene who was a Japanese scuba diving instructor and also interpreter who worked for several diving schools on the Thai island of Koh Tao and her Japanese name of course was Yoshi Sazawa. Now yesterday or in the last 24 hours a fellow by the name of Bent left a nice tribute under that particular video which I'll be reading in just a moment and there is also a more substantial tribute that was posted on a blog called uh, Tribute to Charlene all one word dot blogspot.com and I'll be reading that next. So here is the first short tribute, it comes from Bent. And she wrote, Yes, Charlene was a wonderful lady. Died 17 years ago. He then draws a, uh, a sad face. Good friend and we still think about her every day. So that was a brief tribute from uh, Bent, who is one of the viewers of this channel. Thank you for that, Bent. And here is a more substantial tribute uh, written by someone who is using the name of uh, Kawika and this was published on the 5th of May 2007 so you know, two and a half years or so after Charlene passed away and he had three separate comments that he posted and I'll be reading the, these in no particular order but the first one said and it was under the heading some sad news 2004 so that suggests that Charlene perished in 2004 and he wrote it's with great sadness and heaviest heart that I am contacting you Charlene is no longer amongst us it's a long story she disappeared on the 18th late afternoon and was found behind her house on the 25th early afternoon she had been dead for quite some time now of course he is getting this information very second and third hand uh, apparently a few years after the event so how reliable the information he has uh, actually is is perhaps a question for debate but a second comment he posted was she was the same old Charlene full of life pep vitality and eagerness to do and try everything that's how I will always remember her so that was his second short uh, comment and here is one which is more substantial and uh, rather sad he wrote I met Charlene during a six-week business trip to Tokyo Japan uh, from Tokyo Japan to Cincinnati Ohio USA we were both involved in a big project between Cincinnati Bell information systems and Japan's NTT she was a translator I was a programmer from Information Creative Engineering Incorporated. We had a mutual friend, Christy Tobin, and along with others started going out after work for drinks. One highlight of the trip was attending a Jimmy Buffett concert, who to my surprise was, pro was and probably still is extremely big in Ohio. I got a spark, a buzz from being around Charlene. She always had to be the center of attention. She always was organizing things, two qualities that I shared with her. She was open and warm, but at the same time secretive and cold, a complex woman. After the six week assignment, I found myself back in Tokyo and eventually Charlene returned too. We continued to organize events for friends since we both did not enjoy being alone and needed to be surrounded, be surrounding by friends to feel important, to feel happy. My feelings grew stronger and stronger for her as time went by. She introduced me to her best friends, Scott and Mary, who quickly became my friends too. She went on a trip to Nagoya to attend sumo uh, with my very good friend, Andy Fry, and my very good friend and housemate, Susan Panaris and me. We had super seats and a wonderful time. It was my first sumo tourney outside Tokyo. I think my last activity with Charlene was attending a Glenn Frey concert. We were on the outs by then. 
I was totally obsessed with her, I loved her, I wanted her love, I was probably obsessed with the image in my mind for what I saw and wanted in Charlene. But it was not to be. I didn't expect her to show up. It was to be three of us since I had a gotten since I had gotten a ticket for one of my longest Japanese national friends who I nicknamed Chabo. The concert started and I figure she isn't coming and then during the show she arrived. After the concert Chabo had to bolt but Charlene was interested in, was interested in getting a bite to eat. So Yahoo it was just the two of us. I was desperate I asked her a question that I have only asked one person later in my life. I was not ready for that level of commitment but I was desperate not to lose Charlene. Naturally she said no. I think she had already been on her trip to Thailand with Susan, Julie and Molly. I think she I think she had already met the man she would uh, fall completely in love with and later I suspect perhaps obsessed for in a way I had obsessed in in her. Life is strange. How do I feel now? Angry? Sad? It was a total waste. She tried to give up what she got, I suppose. I wish she had left that island after the first struggle. She should have run to her old friends. She should have found Scott and Mary and crawled into their bed where it was warm and safe. I suppose they could have helped her. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I could have. But there is no doubt in my mind that I wish I had the chance to help her. It is too late now, but this type of tragedy teaches us that life is short. Treasure it, live it. It will soon be over. It will be over sooner than you think. Perhaps when our friends start to die, we feel our mortality. The immortal mind set of young is now a memory. What do they say in New England? Live free or die. It seems that she could not free herself from her demons. They ate away at her. So sad. And then he quotes, And in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. And he attributes that quote, of course, to John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Now, that uh, tribute, I suppose, suggests that um, he'd been given the impression that uh, Charlene had committed suicide, and that is always a possibility. Uh, but uh, most of the people on Kotao actually um, formed the opinion that she had been murdered. But I'll leave that, that uh, for now. If you think that this is a video that other people should also see, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you want to leave any other comments uh, beneath the video, maybe your own tribute to Charlene, I'm sure other people would be interested to read those. But for now, thank you very much for viewing t until the very end and stay safe. Bye for now.